Welcome we'll back to my channel. Tonight I want to talk about a boxer's prime. What, what does it mean to you when you say he's in his prime, this fighter? Is it because he's, his skills are as best as they're going to get? Whether that's very high skill or mediocre skills. Like his defense is okay, his offense is fairly, his technique is good but not that great. It's all different levels, but it's it's a most, it's an old saying about the joining the army was be all that you can be. Are you all that you can be? Are you at 100% of your, your potential as a fighter to develop professional skills? Also, it's mindset when you're in your prime. It means you're focused, you're, you're confident, you're able to have tunnel vision, think about your opponent, how to break them down, break down the style to win a decision. The other part of it is uh, being in shape, having your physical strength, your body's in its prime, meaning your body is very resilient. It can you know, take a lot of workouts, keep coming back, your spring is in your leg, you're physically at peak. This is the time when you can just about do it all. Your body feels just like you can go, you can run forever. Now, the prime, what does that mean? Now, a lot of guys, uh, they talk about past your prime. For example, Marvin Hagler, the great champion, he had said after, when he was about 20, 30 years old, he said, his legs are gone. He don't feel the spring in his legs. So he's gonna be more stationary. That, at that time, he realized that was his prime was over. Other ways you can tell is, Sugar Ray Robinson, we talk about resilience and going long. He had 200 pro fights. So his prime could have been a long time as welterweight, moving up to middleweight, and it's still fighting on to get 200 fights. So, so you don't know, but it's a, it's a term that has a lot of different views on it, a lot of different opinions. Now, we're talking about one fight that came up, and it's very uh, a big topic. You always hear about it. It was Floyd Mayweather, 2011, versus Canelo Alvarez. A lot of people said, uh, well, who did Floyd beat? Alvarez wasn't in his prime yet. He was before his prime. Other people argue that. They say, what do you mean? He was a two-time world champion. He had 40 fights. And uh, he's, he, was, he, he was definitely in his prime. He was young at 21. It's not always age. Not always age. My definition of prime, of prime is being, skill-wise, you develop to your max. In that fight, though, I noticed that Canelo was doing a lot of things that were not amateurs, I would never say amateur because there's a lot of amateurs that are better than pros. You know, there's no qualification to go pro in boxing. You can, you pass the physical, you pay the money, take the test, you can go pro. That's why you have a lot of amateurs experience that have much better boxing skills. So I would never say that, but I would say that some of his skills in the fight showed that he had a lot to learn still. You would see a couple times Mayweather was hitting him and Canelo had his gloves up like this, looking down, something you would never do, because especially against a puncher, because you, you know, you're covering your eyes up, you feel the vision, and he was able to jab and get in there. These things were making him look like he was certainly before his prime. Also, how many times did he, you know, drop the punch first and then throw it? Timing, he was predictable. So, and when he did that, he was countered over and over again. So if you're a fighter in your prime, you're gonna have the skills to realize, hey, I made a mistake, I'm not gonna let it happen again. He said, just jam it, be predictable, I'm gonna fake first, throw something else. I'm gonna mix it up, you're gonna pick it up. Another thing, every trap Mayweather set for him, he fell. He, he came in, tried to get him back, he counted right over. Even he was methodically, just throwing a jab, jab, right hand hook. Same old meth method. You didn't see anything mixed up. These are signs of not being fully in your prime. And that's all, um, some people's take is on it. That's my take, that's how I see it. Like I said, boxing is very subjective. Only thing objective is a knockout. Even a technical knockout, you can argue, you can debate. And then there was a term too, it's called green. What does it mean when a fighter is green? Some people were saying, oh, he was still green. He certainly wasn't. I can tell you what green is. My first time with your fight, I was in a gym for three months. All I really knew how to do was throw a jab. Balance was off, footwork was not advanced, and I still fought. And with that limited development of skills, I was able 
to stay with the guy, win a decision. That's called green. Another time I was a coach, amateur boxing show. There was a wanted to get a fight for one of my guys. There was another trainer there who I might have seen once before. It was, I got a guy for your guy. My guy is green as a dollar bill. Meaning he you know he don't know anything. He has no experience, he hasn't been in the ring. You know, he'd be perfect for you. But a lot of times that's his employ, a lie, just to get to, to make the match. And actually, you have this young, particularly young, young man, had a lot of experience, but, and would not call him green at all. So it's an interesting topic. Let me know what you think about these two terms, being in your prime and being green. Until next time, this is Uncle Robert. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.